Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about intranet, intranet and extranet. First of all we will see about the intranet. The intranet is a worldwide collection of interconnected networks. Also we can say intranet is a collection of interconnected LANs and WANs. The intranet is not owned by any individual or group. It is a network of networks that consists of private, public, academic, business and government networks of local to global scope linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless and optical networking technologies. There are two other terms which are similar to the term intranet such as intranet and extranet. So we will see this one by one. Uh, first of all coming to intranet. Intranet is a term often used to refer to a private connection of LANs and WANs that belongs to an organization and is designed to be accessible only by the organization's members, employees or others with authorization. Coming to extranet, an organization may use an extranet to provide secure and safe access to individuals who work for a different organization but require access to the organization's data. Here we can see some examples of uh, extranets. A company that is providing access to outside suppliers and contractors. A hospital that is providing a booking system to doctors so they can make appointments for their patients. A local office of education that is providing budget and personal information to the schools in its district. These are all some examples of extranet. Then what is the main difference between an intranet and an extranet? So obviously here we can see the intranet is only accessible from within the organization but the extranet is accessible outside the company. Here this pictorial representation shows the difference between intranet, intranet and extranet. Here we can see the intranet is used by all the people in the world. And extranet is used by uh, maybe suppliers, customers or collaborators uh, with the help of the internet. And finally we can see intranet uh, which is accessed only by the company uh, with authentication. Okay, dear friends, in this video we discussed a little bit about intranet, intranet and extranet. If you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also consider subscribing uh, for the support and also for the future videos. So stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.